We've got some new bags from Wotong Craft. You know, as camera people are pretty particular about our bags and our gear and our setup, and I'm one of those people. Two backpacks. This is their Nomad backpack in a 15 and a 25, and then the Pilot Series Messenger bag is a 10 liter and a 7 liter, I believe. Let's go through all the nooks and crannies on this and give you my point of view on how I would use them as a video camera person guy. Okay, so first of all, 15 liter and 25 liter on these. Now, I thought the 25 from the pictures looked like it was gonna be really big and this bag kind of moves out like this. It's one of my concerns about this bag is it's too bulgy, you know? But, uh, and so I was like, oh, I'll love, the, I'll love the 15 inch probably, but it does not fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro. So it's like a deal breaker for that. But as soon as this came out, this is in their black material, these things feel like a dry finished wax canvas, which is what they are. They're like a really high performing nylon. I love this like patina. It's all just like, it's, uh, it just feels good. It feels dry enough and yet it feels sort of dense enough as the, the wax canvas side of things. It's not a very waxy, like it's not gonna come off on your, on your shirts and stuff. Also because wherever you're touching, there's this solid mesh. So this fits a 16 inch MacBook Pro. This fits a 13 inch MacBook Pro is what they say on their website. We've got this big G hook right here, which apparently is brass covered in some black paint to get like a little patina over time. Wotan Craft's all about that sort of vintage aesthetic, but like with all the things that we need for modern applications. As you can see here, these are expandable. And this one, you get an extra like five liters. You've got a little plastic kind of nubbin in there. And then that's what allows you to get a water uh, resistant seal. You can pull this up longer to, to I tend, not to love this kind of thing. This, like I, whatever I put in there, in that top compartment, I'm gonna wanna not get very often because I don't like jiggling with this. You do, when you're using it, you get, you get really good at G-hooks, right? Each one has its own little flavor. And this does have a nice rigid loop here in this webbing, so you can definitely get used to it. But, We've got magnets, how do they work? You can see it right there, pulling in up against the bag. You've got a pocket here on the side, which gets you like a massive, massive sort of funky triangle cone size shape right there. What are you gonna put in there? Noticing that when I, lift, when I try to zip it one-handed, it pulls all the material up. So this is a two-handed zipper, even when that magnet's there possibly a stronger magnet could support and help that. You do have a, can you see this? Like a, a secret pocket down in here. Here's your passport pocket, way covered up inside of this thing. And then you're seeing this L shape. I'll come back to that in a second. Let me go check this side first. Same thing where you have a longer zipper though, coming up at the top of this thing. Could fit a water bottle in there. If you didn't already have a water bottle holder here. Now, here's my 32 liter, is that what this is, right? 32 ounce, sorry, 32 liters would be a lot bigger. Owala, which is my fave right now. I took this thing upside down, look at that. It's one of the reasons why I like this bottle so much, is that 32 ounces, I can still fit it. And then this covers that up. Obviously, whatever we've tried to put in this external material here, in this pocket, is going to be like that that's going to be eaten either way it's going to flop out like this and just be like okay here's all my stuff that i have in here big charger from my computer or something like that it's just going to kind of be a little funky so whatever i put in those outside pockets I'm gonna, or at least on this one i'm going to want to be relatively small like extra cables or little knickknacks and stuff like that that's really what you have for quick access and then on the same as the other side you have this l now let me pull this water bottle out. This L, which you have on both sides, YKK water sealed zips, roll top, 
dope fabric out on here. So your weather resistance is really, really like high for this bag. Then the Velcro that or the loop, you know, they call it hook and loop. This is apparently a very high quality version of that. That's not going to get all pilly and funky over time. And you can tell by just feeling it. I've, I've dealt with lots of Velcros over time. So here I am into the main capacity of the entire bag and I've got these, all of these things to set up however I want. Now, this is gonna be hard to show you, but inside here on the front, I can see this and I can feel there's a metallic, there's an aluminum stay right here. Let's see on the back, not on the back. No, the back is, the back is bending and bulging. Really protective on the front from that aluminum stay which is interesting. Your laptop's gonna be in the back. Here's your laptop compartment. YKK, water seal, aqua guard, and it's apparently big enough for my 16 inch MacBook Pro. We've got a little bit of strap in the way there, perfect. Okay, handle on the side right here, by the way. Is there one on the other side too? I don't think so, just one there. So we've got our laptop in the back. That's providing a lot of rigid structure. And then you've got that little bar up here. And like I said, in their marking materials, it said there was, I think, two smaller ones on the side. So before I go on any further, I'm keen to get into the bag. Handle, how's that feel? I love these handles, great handles. These feel really, really good. You're gonna notice it when you hold it. It's kind of sitting there, ready to be held up. This material is, a nice version of like, I don't know, it does, it feels kind of rootsy, but, but pretty rigorous. Alliteration. I have no concerns about this back panel. You do have a luggage pass-through right here, a little one. Uh, this is the same kind of back panel that we saw on their Pilot Series backpack. Big, strong, sturdy shoulder straps. There's apparently a, an accessory hip strap you can get for this thing. Um, but the, the, it's, a, it's a comfortable bag. I already knew that coming in. Wotan Craft make a good back panel. You've got fat straps right here with just enough density to them. Solid, this, this mesh is very solid. Like it, it's actually breathable. No contour or anything going on here. Again, your laptop is right behind that. You can feel some ridges, definitely some like bubbled ridges for more airflow while you have the bag on. Okay, while well, we're looking at the back here, laptop on this side. This opens the L, this opens the L from the other side. Each of these flaps has a zipper. I think only, so this one, yeah, both sides have, both sides have a secret zipper compartment. Here, you've got some molly for attaching stuff underneath this guy, the one that doesn't have the water bottle. So one concern I'm having right now is my quick access is these, these pockets on the outside of here. So they're big, whatever you put in there is gonna fall down to the bottom. It's nice that you can fit a lot of stuff. However, uh, coming in and out is not very quick. It's in, easy in, but getting out, I've gotta do two hands. I'm persnickety about stuff like that. Let's switch over to the 15 and just do some quick comparison. We have that same pocket, same Molly, same secret pocket, same L. This apparently only fits a 13 inch MacBook Pro right here. They say 12 inch laptop or a 13 inch MacBook Pro. You've got the water bottle pocket. You've got that, I, I mean, look at this like little, I think this feels like even real leather on this magnet bit and the magnet feels like it's you want a magnet that has some attraction nobody wants to live with an unattractive magnet you do have some molly above the water bottle on both of these okay on this one there's only one side that has that secret compartment uh, the non water bottle side has that secret compartment other than that everything's the same just a little bit smaller okay so Getting into this thing, opening up one of these L's, this hook and loop really does stick easily to this. It's, it's strong. Okay, so this one here, you can see is like designed to be a shelf. So this is what the inside of that bag is kind of like trapezoid like. Now you can see here on the bottom of the bag, I'm not sure why they do this. They've, they've did this in the pilot as well, where I've got like an inch to an inch and a half a butt, like, so I, whatever I've got to get, like, it's going to be lying against that because that's the bottom of the bag, right? So then I have to lift it up over that thing. What I'm honestly going to do, I'm going to try this out first. I'm going to put this in the bottom and just use this as some, 
as some extra protection on the bottom and to bump my material up, my, my camera and stuff, up above that. Maybe that's actually what that piece is for. Always, I don't know, but that gets me, now I just have like a, you know, like a, like a quarter, like three quarters of an inch. It's helped a little bit. Cause what I wanna do is I wanna be able to get my camera in and out easily. The other thing I like to always have with me is my Rode microphone. Now, arguably I could go with something smaller, but this thing is just so reliable. And honestly, I'll probably just put this right here on top of that because it just feels like it wants to be that way. And most of the time I'm pulling out my camera, I'm gonna set that thing up anyways. And very few bags am I able to leave that on while I put it into the bag because it's very easy to break that once it's on the camera. Okay, the dividers it comes with are two of those and then two of these which can be kind of folded and used in different ways. First thing I'm gonna do is just make a little shelf and this is very strong Velcro. Like you, like you just, you do feel quite a lot of, uh, of trust in this, in the materials here. Okay, so there's a little shelf. Now I got plenty of room, I got ample space. So I could actually put this in here and maybe that's a better way to carry it. I don't know, I tend to be very minimal and simplistic with my camera rig. It's important to me because it helps my creative process just stay focused. Then I've got the whole top part of this. Now this is my typical camera rig setup. Bottom, protection, camera, top, everything else. I can access some of what's in there from here, but it's, you can see my opening gets narrower the, t the higher up I go. So it's very easy once I've got this open to get in there and access whatever's in there. But it's like, it's actually, roll tops can be kind of cumbersome. You're reaching in, you can't see very much. It's darkness, right? So I tend not to do this. The good news is if I need to, if I need to throw like a heavy jacket in or something like that or a six pack, I can actually fit that in here. Or I can try to roll in my everyday without opening this up very much because it's just, a, it's just an extra step. But one of the things that's coming to mind for me on this, and I will link to this below, links below to everything that you'll see in this video and that does support the channel. That's how I put food on my table. One link I'll put down there is to the Wandered Provoke or Perverky. This is an interesting comparison to that bag. Roll top, really rugged materials, got the side L door access. This has maybe a, a better look for some of us more like hipstery, like twist our mustache bestoke kind of folks, maybe a little more. I think the Wandered maybe has more ruggedness and more ability to just deal with anything you throw at it because it's literally made out of like Hypalon rubber, you know, which is a benefit for some and a bummer for others. Then when I've got this thing on, I can come around, I've got to kind of grip it from this, I guess. And I want to keep my zippers down here. And I can open that up and just get right into that left-handed. So if I'm going left-handed into this, I should probably, I might switch it to the other side and come into it right-handed because that's then I'm like just gripped and ready. Okay, so then I'm coming off the left-hand side. I reach in to grab my camera and it gets slightly hooked up on the, but then I'm ready, you know? You wanna kinda grip like this. This is a nice little handle, and then you can get it down. This is the side that I don't have my water bottle on, so that's probably ideal anyways, coming at it from the left. Now, the other thing that I need to have in here is a few camera accessories. They do make some Velcro pouches that go up against stuff and lots of other companies make that sort of thing. I need a few batteries, for example. And honestly, I'll probably throw those into... By the way, check out these huge leather zip pulls. This feels really great. And the little em embossing on the, with some symbols there. It's just like... Yeah, it feels pretty good. Like that kind of tactile thing. Those are the only zippers that have that zip pull, big leather. That's something you're gonna like over time, really. Especially with a bag like this that's gonna last you a long time. You're gonna see that patina there. You're gonna see the patina on this thing. You're gonna like see the material, patina on the, the fabric and material. And that's gonna feel pretty damn good. So throwing my, again, this is the side without 
without the water ball. This is the side I'll be opening to get access. Throwing some of these in there, some batteries. Maybe I need some ND filters. These ones are from Sandmark. Shout out and link to them below. So then I've got that stuff just kind of fumbly in here. So this becomes camera side of things. The other way to do that, and what I'd probably prefer to do, is have a pouch right in here. Have a camera pouch right in here. I'll need a tech pouch. I'll probably be going with my Track Login Pro, which is a wax cotton canvas made in Scotland. Link to this below. This is like my go-to tech pouch right now because it's just really simple. You have some organization. I use very little of it. I do like these to throw some cables and keep them out of the way. But for the most part, all my tech just sits inside of here. Bluetooth headphones charger for my laptop and then this just kind of goes in there right ba -bum, ba -bum. then I'll take another one just for camera accessories throw that inside of there because I'm not needing these accessories very often right and when I do need them typically I've got my camera out my bags on the ground it's like we're switching batteries I'm okay with like getting my stuff out again remembering to zip down to the bottom here and we do have some like accessory Loops here, this must be for, yeah, that must be for the the uh, the hip straps, the optional hip straps. Because this bag can expand up and you can fit your like minimal camera kit and then quite a lot of clothes in there with an expansion, that hip pack might be, or hip straps might be beneficial for some of you, especially if you're carrying heavier loads. If you're, get, if you're bringing, like you can also deck this whole thing out with gear and have it quite heavy going on a long hike, doing some nature photography, then yeah, your hip straps, they make these big fat hip straps, what I was seeing on their website, look like they would work pretty damn good actually. One little issue here with the laptop is it is it goes behind this strap, okay? Which is good for, it's good for the durability and the structure of the bag, but it's bad for every interaction into the bag. You kind of have to like get yourself through that a little bit. It's not a deal breaker at all. You just got to figure out your method for doing that. Once the strap is like down and you've got some, that works well. I just really wished that this would fit inside of this little guy and it doesn't. It really doesn't. Because I'd love to have all of that gear that I needed in this smaller package. However, if it was just an iPad day, right? That fits in there so perfect, so easily. And then you got your iPad and whatever rig that you need with some expandable storage on top. I think this is a really good looking size of a bag, you know? It's like small enough to feel like minimal, but it's a ex little bit expandable. It only expands about three liters. So for me, I would have to go with this black or the 25. I actually really like the black. This is like a killer looking bag. Um, I would have to go with the 25 because it fits my MacBook. I have my gear in there and then I have the room to grow if I need to. I've got plenty of space. And even when it is like packed down like this, it's not too big. I would leave very little in these external pockets. I would just like an AirPods and my phone goes into one of these. Probably the one, probably the one on this side. I have some thoughts on these guys overall, their, their designs and stuff, but let's look at those messenger bags. Okay. 10 liter and a seven liter. Both of them have these G hooks that open up to a, not like quite, ex I mean, this thing expands, so you get that loop over if you need to. If stuff comes up and over, you can, you can still like stretch this out to about there. So you can get a little bit of expansion and this one goes quite a bit farther. So your expansion is a little more useful up here on the 10 liter. You've got Molly all over here and they make some accessories. I've seen one that fits like on one side of this, which sounds pretty good, or maybe even one that goes across here. Then zipper pocket, okay, with a little bit of admin, just mesh inner pockets, pouches here. iPad goes right there. That's my 11 inch. Looks like I bet I can fit it in this seven liter as well, perfect. Oh, they sent some pouches to include on this one. So you see how these Molly guys work? You have a little clip, you slide those through there and there and then it just attach, clicks on. 
So now we've got a little accessory right here. Looks like there's some, some other accessory straps we could use. Then there's the straps themselves. I'll get into these in a second. And this is actually quite functional. This is a water bottle holder. You do have water bottle pockets on the side of both of these. Yeah, I mean, that's totally doable. And it's, it's plenty of coverage. It's not like the most, like it can, it can come out. We do have these, uh, these little dividers in here. And I'm curious about my size and what I would really need. I mean, ideal for me is just to be able to reach in and grab my camera and then my microphone's just sort of down there. It's kind of crunched with this water bottle, I'll be honest. It feels kind of crunched. However, closing it up and my water, so like this, this is like not ideal. This is, might be just enough of a usability deal breaker to feel like, nah, I'm off, I'm off that. So these straps, you definitely have a nice tacky, like you could like rubbery on the inside, non-stick. And then this goes over and they show on the website that you can move this buckle through here and get it in between so your buckle's never up on your shoulder. Just sort of standard Duraflexy type uh, hardware here with a little gated G-hook, not metal. Not metal, you can, it does, it does move pretty smooth. I doubt they're gonna break because these things are surprisingly strong. You know, we've just engineered these really well over time. Even the like cheap rip off versions can be pretty good. Yeah, this is all, so it's not like a clip off and clip on kind of a thing. It's like a standard messenger bag kind of vibe. So here's my camera, my iPad, my, my lens. I can easily throw in those batteries and ND filters if I need them. I can get a smaller water bottle. I think my water bottle on the sides here is just a little, I wish these were a little bit, these had a little bit more capacity. Like they have nice tight elastic on the top right now. Again, elastic tends to fade after a few years and so it has less strength but like some kind of being able to be bigger out here wouldn't be bad. Now I've just got these in here without any dividers. You could obviously throw these dividers in here and keep things, you know, organized the way that you want to. I find that half the time that ends up feeling too fiddly and limited and my kit is super minimal on purpose. I do notice that this, for some reason, like everything on the bag feels really great, but this does not have the same plastic like rigidness that the top of that one has. Um, and it just has like a little bit of foam in there, like a light foam. And it, it definitely feels like a, a place to beef up next next version of this Wotan craft. Like that little, that little lip right there can feel more substantial, more meaningful. Nice little handle on the back, nice little leather emblem here. Okay, so this is a much bigger bag, but for me, it's probably where I would go. So here, I've set a little dividers in there. Got my got a spot just for my easy to pull in and out. My microphone and then my camera just goes in and out pretty easily. They do do this rounded thing, so you don't get those, those straight, the straight stuff you may crave. And then I have a little bit of space on the side. You could definitely do a bigger lens, your camera and a microphone. You could do two lenses with your camera. Then this and this, I mean, I would probably get rid of this. I probably don't need this personally. If you need more storage, if you're carrying more stuff with you. And from here, I've just got like this as a quick access. It's not quick access because I actually have to open this up to get to it. This is probably my quick access if I really need to throw my phone or something in quickly and I don't wanna open this thing up. You can see the way that this folds. I do get great weather protection. The, the, any opening is, is like covered over. It's like covered there and then this folds over there. Feels nice, like well-designed. Overall, these bags, all of these, this goes for these guys too. And I'll close with this, like just surprisingly wonderfully made, very thoughtful, well-conceived, well-built, and they're actually doing innovative stuff. Like my hat's off to Wotan Craft, or maybe it's just a little tip, just the tip, because this is like, this is pretty innovative. Just this idea of this, this flap like that, like, even if it might scare me that it gets too moofy over time or bulgy or something. Uh, very solid materials, very solid. You're gonna be stoked on any of these really, really high-end photographers. You're used to carrying around your thousands of dollars of gear. You're gonna be stoked on these. This feels really good. And I know a lot of you are like, damn, 
that looks good. And you want to be at like a cafe in, you know, Brooklyn with this thing, get into your emails with a look like this in case you meet a honey that's like, hey, do you lead wagon expeditions to the West Coast? So definitely I'm giving my seal of approval to these for, for most of you out there who are like, I want something that feels good. I want something that's used well every day. Like I like using it every day. I want something that's protective for my gear and that isn't going to break down on me over time. It's gonna last a while, it's durable. I think you're gonna dig these. Again, most of like the way that a product speaks to you is in the material and the handles, the zipper pulls, how smooth and easy it is to move them. All of this stuff is pretty well done on this stuff. I'm, I'm, in, I'm impressed, I'm kind of inspired. So good job, Wotan Craft. Links below, support the channel. Thanks for watching, subscribe. I have a page at matterful.co of all the camera bags that you might want to check out in comparison to this. I'll also link specifically to that Wandered Provoke below. You know, uh, subscriber only content over at Patreon. If you haven't been there, check that out. Other than that, be yourself, make good choices, and nobody can live your life for you. So get out there without even needing to buy anything. That's an idea. Bye.